bet they've never seen a horse do that before. I know I haven't. In other news, an excavation team from McAllister College has arrived in Argentina. We have their team now live on satellite feed. Hello, Zoe. How are you? Great. How are you, Tim? Good. Thanks. I'm here with Laura Spencer, a geologist, and Dr. Marat Christensen, a paleobiologist. So where exactly are you guys? We're in the Ocamuevo region in Patagonia, an area in Argentina. Um, it's actually in the pro province of Neken. Uh, what is it that you're looking for down there in Alcamuevo? Sure as hell isn't a sense of fashion. Absolutely not. Those Argentinians, not so much. Mm -hmm. Well, we came down here with the belief that, based on a discovery in 1999 of an Ocasaurus, which is a meat-eating theropod, um, that its feeding grounds are on this site. So basically, we want to find some evidence to back that up. Well, we'll get back to you in just a minute. Uh, but now, a brief history of Alcamuevo. Yes. Uh, if I remember correctly, El Comuevo was first explored in 1997 by the Argentinian paleontologist Luis Chiapi. Yeah, and the dig there instantly became famous as they discovered hundreds of sauropod eggs, most likely from some form of titanosaur. They named the region El Comuevo, Alca, after the volcano in the area, Alcamajido, and Muevo after a contraction of the Spanish words for more eggs. Very clever. I believe they also found some fossilized sauropod embryos. Uh, that's something that happens often as these embryos tend to decay over time instead of fossilizing. Uh, in addition, they also found uh, fossilized skin imprints, something that before this time had never been found. Ooh, exciting! Uh, it seems the eggs are part of some vast nesting ground for these dinosaurs that have been covered in sediment by a flood, burying all the eggs and fossilizing them. Bad news for the dinos, great news for Chiape's team. Indeed. Well, anyways, later on at Alcamuevo at a different dig, Alberto Garrido, a member of Chiapi's team, uncovered a theropod, a meat-eating dinosaur that they named Alcasaurus after the region. Seems this dino was a medium-sized theropod that was a relative of the larger predator, Carnotaurus. The big fellow with the horns? That he was, although the Alcasaurus only has ridges on its head instead of horns. Well anyways, this was another exciting find to add to the long list of great Argentinian dino discoveries. A list including Argentinosaurus, the largest land animal ever discovered, and the Gigantosaurus, a predator even bigger than T-Rex. It's kind of hard to imagine. Well, let's check back with our team now. Are you there? We're here, Thor. So what's the terrain like down there? It's rocky flats and scrubland for the most part. Pretty inhospitable, but great for finding fossils. Why'd you decide to go in late February? Not for the swimsuit season, I suppose. I'd imagine not. Well, it's Patagonia's dry season, so we don't have to worry about the rain. And the temperature is pretty bearable. So what exactly is it you hope to find? Well, Flip, we're going to survey the entire area to see if we can find any more Ocasaurus bones or evidence of them having been there here. Where pretty much any new discoveries are going to be important. What we're going to do is we're going to look at already collected eggs as well as new eggs that we find and just look at the fragments and see if there are any teeth marks that could indicate that the Ocasaurus preyed on the eggs of the sauropods that lived here. While we're looking for evidence of Ocasaur feeding habits, we'll also be looking for um, information about their social behaviors and possibly sexual dimorphism. And how do you intend to do that? Well, if we find multiple skeletons, we will be able to look at their comparative proximities. We're also going to look at differences in cranial structures, bumps and ridges, to see if any of the differences could be gender related. Why would you think there would be? Well, like you said, Ocasaurus is a relative of Carnotaurus, and Carnotaurus has two big horns believed to be gender related, much like certain species of deer where the males have bigger antlers. Back to the main point, have other scientists ever found evidence of what you're talking about? Um, Dinosaurs eating one another? Well, Thor, it's funny you mention that. In fact, there have been many instances of Triceratops remains with gouges out of their bones from Tyrannosaurus rex. Oftentimes, you'll find fragments of bone or shell with gouges or scrapes in them that indicate that they have been eaten or touched or scavenged by other dinosaurs. I have to put this frankly, but why should we care about this? Well, this find could provide some important data for the paleontological community. And the proximity of the Alcasaur remains to the nesting site makes this a unique case. How so? Well, it will be interesting to see whether or not this site actually acted as a draw to predators in the area. And it could even give us some clues about 
dino parenting, and infancy survival rates. Speaking of back then, what was the area like when these curious critters were alive? Dangerous, I'd expect. Indeed. Well, that was 80 million years ago, during the mid-Cretaceous period. The climate was pretty warm, and there was lots of vegetation, but not very many forests. The vegetation was mostly ferns, cycads, and bushes, and there were several rivers, which flooded often to help preserve our dinos. Wow, wow that is truly fascinating. We'll have to check back in later in your dig. Uh, we hope you find many uh, surprising discoveries to support your research. The results will definitely be interesting. We'll have to get them back on the show. No question about it. Uh, we're going to sign off now. Uh, are you there? Team? Uh, let's switch back to the feed. <laughs> I believe so. Um, yeah. Wow. Well, well, well um, uh, that, that's all the time we have, folks. Um, this has certainly been an eventful program, and we'll, uh, we expect there'll be a follow-up report quite soon. Yes. Uh, this is Flip Sledboat signing off. Uh, and I'm Thor Winchester. Have a good night. <laughs>